welcome back. Today's video is going to be an ASOS winter haul. I have a huge parcel here. I can't wait to look through it all and show you. This video is actually in collaboration with Doddle because it's Christmas time. It's a really busy time of year for me. I'm not often in my flat. So for deliveries like this from ASOS, it's so handy for me to be able to click the free click and collect option for Doddle, pick up my parcel at my own convenient time from one of the Doddle stores. So what I did in this case is I had meetings in town all day. So I did the free click and collect option with Doddle. And then on the way back from my meeting, in town I just picked up my parcel and brought it home with me. There are doddle stores all over the country so it's really easy to kind of work in with your own schedule. Yeah it's great if you're too busy to be at home or you can't get parcels delivered to your office. You can use Doddle for ASOS like I have, but they also work with brands like Amazon, New Look and Misguided. And for this video Doddle have actually set up a really cool competition so that one of you guys can win a £500 ASOS voucher which is so exciting oh my god 500 pounds on ASOS I would go crazy so if you want to enter the competition to win I will put the link for the competition in the description box below go and enter you never know you might get lucky and win 500 pounds to spend on ASOS that would be pretty cool so I'm gonna dig through this giant purple parcel here and show you guys what I got from ASOS because there's quite a big mix of things actually like it's not all clothes okay the first things I'm gonna show you I'm so excited because I haven't been able to like take these out of the box yet and I'm desperate they're from paper chase but I got them from ASOS four glass jewel decorations so these are tree decorations as you can see I have my Christmas tree behind me but it doesn't feel quite finished yet and I can't wait to put these on. So I got two boxes, so you get four, and they're so me. I don't know if you guys know, but I love this style. We have loads of lanterns and um, terrariums around the flat and they all have the similar like copper, diamond, glass, jewel style. I just think they're gonna go so well with our flat. I got eight, so I thought I could just kind of disperse them over the tree and I think they're so, so pretty. Our tree really is lacking color. I don't think the copper is really gonna help with that, but it might add a little bit. I feel like all my tree decorations this year are like see-through and glass, I don't know why. But yeah, these are so, so cute. I can't wait to put them on the tree. While I'm talking non-fashion stuff, I also bought these snowman bath salts. I'm pretty sure my friend Rob isn't gonna watch this video. I have him for Secret Santa this year. So I'm gonna make him like a special set of bath products. We've only got like 20 pounds to spend, but I thought these were really cute to go in that set. They're the Mr. Snowman vanilla bath salts. Yeah, I could put some like lush bath stuff in there as well. I just thought these were really sweet and it was in like the Christmas section of ASOS. Before I head on to my stuff, I thought I'd show you, I got Rich something as well because I'm doing a stocking for him this year. All his presents are very practical because he doesn't like faff, he just likes things that he needs and he loves a good cozy gray jumper. So I got him this from ASOS. It's by United Colors of Benetton. It's just the plain gray jumper, but he loves these kind of jumper styles. Um, so yeah, I think he'll like that. I'm gonna put that in his stocking. Okay, then I also picked up a coat. I've been on the hunt for a really warm coat and I really like this one. I've briefly tried it on before this video, but unfortunately they only had a 10 left. So it's a little bit short on the arms. It doesn't quite fit, but it's such a nice coat and it's so cozy. It's like a slightly beige, maybe a little bit blush pink, which is a color I really like. It's got this faux fur hood and then it's kind of two textures. So it's slightly waterproof, but then it's also, it's a bit like faux pony hair, which I think smartens it up a bit. It's a big puffer coat. I think everyone needs one of these and I haven't got one. I must find one. Maybe they'll get 12 in stock and then I'd definitely be interested in getting this one. I think it's really cozy. It's got a hood. It's just a little bit small, unfortunately. Okay, so I haven't tried any of the other stuff on. Let's open up this parcel. Right, let me edit out the, the rustling of the plastic. This is a dress and it's from Warehouse. I have lots of like Christmas parties, Christmas events, like just, I feel like this time of year there's lots going on. So it's always good to have a little black dress, which I do not have. This one's from Warehouse and I thought it looked really interesting on the website. It's a slight V-neck and the dress itself is quite plain. It just goes down to just above the knee but the arms are really cool. They have these like bell sleeves and the fabric changes to this kind of satiny silk and you get these cute little bell sleeves and I just thought it's festive and it's nice. It's not too smart, it's not too casual. Really excited to try this on and see how it looks. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of all of these items because I love your feedback. And also this dress has a little bit of a weight to it, which I like because I feel like it's gonna hang really nicely. I just thought that was a bit different and interesting. Oh, yes, I remember this. 
There's no denying that I have too much loungewear. You guys saw my loungewear lookbook. I don't need any more. But there was a lot of grey in there and I thought I could definitely add a bit of colour into the mix. So I saw this blush pink hoodie. Oh my god, it's so soft. It's a really oversized hoodie. So it's got this huge hood and like these giant, like, what's it called? Like the string? Everything is just giant about this hoodie. I don't know what it's gonna look like on, but it feels really thick. Oh my God, and the inside is like a really soft fleece. It feels so, so cozy. It can, I cannot wait to try this on. It's from the ASOS White range, which is a range I really, really love. And I'm excited to try that on. It looked really cool on the model. And as you guys know, I basically live in tracks bottoms and hoodies. This is definitely gonna come in handy. I hope that looks really nice on. Right, what else is in here? Oh, I bought a top. I'm really lacking in the top department. I feel like I've got dresses covered and then I've got like jeans and jumpers, but I haven't really got an in-between when I kind of want to wear jeans and high heeled boots and a nice top. I don't have that many tops. So I wanted to add some more to my collection. I thought this one looked really nice. It's from the brand First and I. And what I really liked about it online is that it's like this beautiful wine color. It's like slightly maroon, slightly wine. It's more sheer in real life than I thought, but I could easily wear like a little black cami underneath. So it's kind of interesting. It has this like ruffle that goes across the front and then down the side and slightly round to the back. I don't know how this will look on me, whether it will be flattering. I sometimes find when there's too much here, it's not that flattering, but hopefully it's nice because I really like the color. I think it will work really nicely with black trousers or black jeans and high heeled boots, which is exactly what I was looking for. Feels nice quality for sure. I'm really excited to try this one on because I really need more tops in my collection. So let me know what you think of this one in the cutaway, please. Okay, a couple more things. I wanted to get a Christmas jumper and there was one on ASOS that was black and in white writing it said, this is my festive jumper and it was so me, it was perfect. I was desperate to get my hands on it but it sold out. But I did see this Christmas jumper and I feel like it's good for those of you who don't want anything too festive. I have this jumper that I'm wearing now from last year, it's from Marks and Spencers, which is kind of got Santas all over it in sequins. So I've got the festive jumper sorted. But I wanted something that was festive, but a little bit understated too. So this one's black. Ooh, it's really cozy. It's from Daisy Street, which is a brand I really, really like. My um, pink and gray striped jumper is from there. And then it says on it, naughty and nice. And like naughty's been scratched out and nice has been ticked. I mean, I think if it was the other way around, it'd be more appropriate for me. But I think it's kind of cute. It's like a little nod to a Christmas jumper without being too overly like in your face Christmas jumper. And it feels really soft and cozy as well because obviously I needed more jumpers. I'm on to the final thing. Oh yes, this is a scarf. I have a burgundy scarf and I've got a baby blue scarf and I've got a really bright blue scarf, but I don't have a gray one. And I think everyone needs a good gray scarf because I've got a lot of gray and black coats. I just keep thinking like, I wish I had a gray scarf to go with this outfit. So this one looked really nice. Oh, it's so soft. I'm quite fussy when it comes to scarves. I like there to be a little bit of tassels because I feel like when a scarf just stops and it's blunt, I feel like it's always a bit awkward. And I like it to be really long so I can wrap it around and it still kind of hang long. This looks really nice. Oh yeah. This is gonna be perfect. I'll do like a proper cutaway and show you guys, but this feels so cozy. I know immediately that I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's exactly what I was looking for. And it's not too light gray, so I won't get like lipstick or makeup marks on it. And it's not too dark either. It's like the perfect charcoal gray. Oh, I just flicked myself in the face. Really happy with that. So that's everything from my ASOS winter haul. Please leave me a comment and let me know which pieces you liked and which ones you didn't like as much. Don't forget to check the description box for all links to all the items mentioned and a link to the Doddle and ASOS competition where you can win a 500 pound voucher. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't caught up with all my Vlogmas vlogs, I will link them in a playlist here as well as my last video and a button if you would like to click to subscribe to this channel. See you guys in my next video. Bye.